it it's not actually that bad like it's how big is the end like it's a basically if you think of a um like a wire so it's just like basically a wire and yeah. then on the end of it is almost just like a little i don't know it's <laughs> like not the, a, a little, anyway it's a little bead yeah no it's not <laughs> it's very very small like I, i'd say as i look at my um thing plugging into my mic here yeah. it would probably be smaller than that at the tip of it like it's not even the same size as what you know you'd push into your your not, microphone not as big as an alt jack yeah yeah so like yeah. it and you know the i mean it is weird it is weird and the, <laughs> we're going to go into the details so i think you have to go like 10 centimeters i think was how far it was and so what the researcher would do because i didn't volunteer for that experiment it was once i became a um postgraduate student i realized if i want people to volunteer for my studies i'm gonna have to volunteer for their studies right and so i was like i better do some of it like i'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and do it um but they give you this you know the, the cord there is you know it's like a blue long tube basically just a real you know couple mils thick like i mentioned but they put a bead at the 10 centimeter mark <laughs> and they give you a tub of vaseline what is like it, bead? <laughs> <laughs> and so you essentially just have to push this you know thermometer up until you feel the bead <laughs> and so then you know you've gone further enough in and you sort of just you know that's that's how you know you've gone enough to get the accurate measurement for the day 